Hey everybody. Uh, logistic regression and the logit link are a pretty useful uh, couple of techniques that we can use when we're trying to model uh, probabilities or understand how they depend upon different covariates or predictive variables. And oftentimes when we're doing that we need to switch back and forth between the, the logit scale and the probability scale. And there are a series of equations that we can use that are fairly straightforward to, to do that. However, from a statistical perspective and an estimation perspective, oftentimes we want to know not only about the, the point estimates themselves on the two scales, but we also want to calculate or understand the standard errors. Now we can get that using something called the delta method. And the delta method requires a, a bit of calculus and can be quite scary when you first look at the equations for how to do it uh, from a general perspective. But for the logit link and logistic regression, it's actually fairly straightforward to do it. So, for example, suppose we have a, a probability, uh, which I'll just call uh, P, and we also have the standard error for that thing, for that quantity. So we also have the standard error for, for P. Now, what we want to look at is we want to transform things onto the logit scale. So, logit of that probability P, I'm just going to call that something called beta. Okay, now, that is the same, the logit link is the log of the probability divided by 1 minus the probability. So, if I have a value for that probability, then if I insert that into this equation here, I can get my estimate or my value on that logit scale fairly easily. Now what if I want to know what the probability, sorry, if I want to know what the standard error for beta is. So I figured out what beta is, I'm going to do that fairly straightforward. How do I calculate the standard error for, belt, for beta? Um, again, we can use the delta method, and it sounds pretty complicated um, in theory, but in practice, it's actually fairly straightforward. So the standard error for beta, after we apply the, the delta method, is simply the standard error for the probability divided by that probability uh, times 1 minus that probability. So it's actually fairly straightforward. If we know what the probability is and the standard error um, for that probability, to calculate the standard error of beta, we just insert those values into the equation and it works out pretty straightforward. So now we have the value for beta and we also have the value for the standard error of beta on the logit scale. Now we might do that because we want to calculate some confidence intervals, for example. And now that we have, oh, sorry, confidence intervals on the probability. And now that we've got the values on the logit scale, we might calculate the confidence interval on the logit scale and then just back transform those limits onto the probability scale to ensure that those probability um, limits, sorry, the limits on the probability scale stay between 0 and 1. Uh, that's one technique that people have used. Now of course if we want to go the other way, if we start with the values on the logit scale, we just reverse everything. So we go back the other way, so if we start with the probabilities, so if we start with the values on the logit scale, so this time we're starting with our values for beta and the standard error for beta, then to get our probability, so our probability will be equal to, if we just apply the sort of reverse transformation, it's going to be exponential of beta over 1 plus e to the beta and then the standard error for p will just be the standard error that we have for beta oops that's a, a beta times p times 1 minus p So there we have it, that's all there is to it. It's, it's relatively straightforward to switch between those different uh, scales when you know how. 
I hope you found, found that useful. Uh, until next time, see you later. Bye.